Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hello there. This is going to be for Nehemiah chapter 5. And there was a great cry of the people and of the wives against their brethren the Jews, for there were that said, We are sons and our daughters are many, therefore we take up corn for them that we may eat and live. Some also there were that said, We are mortgaged our land we have mortgaged our lands, vineyards and houses that we might buy corn because of the dearth or famine. There were also that said, We have borrowed money for the king's tribute, and that upon our lands and vineyards. Yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children as their children. And lo, we bring into bondage our sons and our daughters to be servants, and some of our daughters are brought into bondage already. Neither is it in our power to redeem them, for other men have our lands and vineyards. And as I and I was very angry when I heard their cry in these words. Then I consulted with myself, and I rebuked the nobles and the rulers, and said unto them, Ye exact usury every one of his brother. And I set a great assembly against them, and I said unto them, We, after our ability, have redeemed our brethren the Jews, which were sold unto the heathen. And will ye even sell your brethren, or shall we shall they be sold unto us? Then held they their peace, and found nothing to answer. Also I said, is, is, It is not good that ye do. Ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God, because of the reproach of the heathen our enemies? I likewise and my brethren and my servants might exact of them money and corn. I pray you, let us leave off this usury. Restore, I pray you, to them, even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses, also the hundredth part of the money, or the hundred pieces of silver, and of the corn, the wine, and the oil that ye exact of them. Then said they, We will restore them, and will require nothing of them. So will we do as thou sayest. Then I called the priests, and took an oath of them, that they should do according to this promise. Also I shook my lap, and said, So God shake out every man from his house, and from his labor, that performeth not this promise, even thus he be, be he shaken out and emptied. And all the congregation said, Amen, and praised the Lord, and the people did according to this promise. Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the twentieth year, even unto the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes the king, that is, twelve years, I and my brethren have not eaten the bread of the governor. But the former governors that had been before me were chargeable unto the people, or in the Hebrew it laid a heavy burden upon the people, and had taken of them bread and wine, beside forty shekels of silver, yea, even their servants bear rule over the people. But so did not I, because of the fear of God. Yea, also I continued in the work of this wall, neither brought, neither bought me, neither bought we any land, and all my servants were gathered thither unto the work. Moreover, there were at my table an hundred and fifty of the Jews and rulers, beside those that came unto us from among the heathen, that are about us. Now that which was prepared for me daily was one ox and six choice sheep. Also fowls were prepared for me, and once in ten days store of all sorts of wine. Yet for all this required not I the bread of the governor, because the bondage was heavy upon this people. Think upon me, my God, for good, according to all that I have done for this people." Uh, that's the end of the chapter. So um, this is going back to the the rules in the law of Moses that they weren't supposed to be charging interest on their debts to to especially among themselves. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter. We'll see you next time. Bye.